Hey, hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday now. I just posted another vlog last night, and here we are again, picking up the camera. We're in a good vibe. We're in a good mood. You guys are giving me good feedback, too. You guys are enjoying the vlogs, which makes me happy. Matt just left this morning to go to a bachelor party. He's gone from today through Friday. He was supposed to be the whole weekend, but he had, like, a work meeting come up, so he has to come home early, which sucks, because... It's the bachelor party of our best man, and now Matt is his best man, which is super fun, but he can't stay the whole time. It'll just be Indy and I for the next two days. I figured I'd vlog. If you watched my grocery haul video from yesterday that I posted that vlog, it was like two days in my life, basically a full day in my life, and then the next day I just shared my grocery haul. I am making my Nana's Italian penicillin soup. Nona, Nana. I know that the correct pronunciation for grandma in Italian is Nona, but I grew up calling my Nona, Nana. Okay, so don't come for me. It's what we call my grandma. I don't know what to tell you. Can't change it now. She's not even here, but I promise you, she didn't care. Anyway, that was morbid. Her birthday's coming up on the 13th of April. Another fun fact, I released my cookbook April 13th, 2021 in honor of my grandma because she taught me how to cook, her and my mom. Neither here nor there. It's early. It's Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. Like I said, Matt left at 5. I was going to drive him. He's coming back Friday late, like around midnight. And he's like, I'm just going to park there so that it's just easier. And honestly, it is easy to just park there versus like Uber. I would have picked him up, but whatever. It was crazy raining, like rainstorms this morning. He's like, I don't want you driving. But he made it. He's taking off right now. He just texted me. But we're making the Italian soup. I'm also going to throw in some energy bites. They're like no-bake energy bites they're really easy and um i just feel like that'd be like an easy snack that she could just literally not even need to heat up or do anything for so that's what i'm gonna make her some soup and some energy bites and i'll take you guys along with it with me i also want to work out today but i'll probably work out after i make these because i'm going to her house at noon and she's about 30 minutes away doesn't matter really i'm going to take my morning lineup of Stuff. I got the new aloe gel last night. <laughs> I got that new aloe. Let's test it out. Fresh. Mm. It smells similar. Cheers. I know. I just drink it out of here. Yes, I could pour it into a cup. I just don't. Oh. That doesn't taste nearly as, it doesn't taste good, but it does not taste nearly as thick as the other one. Okay, cool. Um, I'm almost out of my multivitamin that I like. I also, this is my favorite liquid multivitamin, then I also love the Ritual tablets. I'm just out of those. I kind of switch off in between. These are just sometimes a little bit easier because I do take other supplements. I don't want to have like literally 10 different pills. Um, and this one tastes good, then it's easy for me to take. So I like to take it with food though. So we'll on that. Let's take my probiotic. I got a question in my last vlog, which probiotic I take. I link everything you guys. So, um, I'll show you obviously, but chances are if I mention it and it's something like a supplement or a piece of clothing, my water bottle, my walking pad, like anything, all my Amazon favorites, they're always down below. So I take the Ritual one, I have it linked. And I do, I worked with them on TikTok a while ago. But the code still works if you want a discount. And I genuinely love them and take them every single morning. They have a nice minty tea. Minty check, hi mama. Hi. <laughs> Probiotic. I like this one specifically just because it's a prebiotic, a probiotic, and postbiotic. It's like a three-in-one. This is not sponsored, so I'm not going to like make this a whole infomercial, but I, I like it. Um, okay, so let's do it in the morning. Aloe vera. With that, I'm also just going to do a little forkful of some sauerkraut, which might be a brutal start to the morning for some people, but it's a little snack first thing. I really like it. Also, this is the brand that I got yesterday, and I liked it. I tried it yesterday. It's really good. So crunchy. 
It is also a coffee morning. I've been up for like two and a half hours because I got up when Matt was leaving and then we decided it was raining. It was too dangerous to drive for me to drive, but I'm gonna make some coffee now. Okay, it's a coffee morning. Because I'm also about to just chef it up, you know, and I need energy for that. I got a question on what coffee beans I use. I don't, I'm not like specifically, oh my God, not great. Loyal to any, I haven't found like a certain coffee that I'm like extremely loyal to. Um, and Matt doesn't drink coffee at all, so we're not like a big coffee household. But I did get sent some Chamberlain coffees months ago, probably like almost six months ago, probably by now. And I don't drink coffee every day, so like I'm still going through it. And I don't, um, this is a brand new one, but it's the Fluffy Lamb Vanilla Blend. It's okay. Again, I'm not a good coffee. It's kind of like wine with me. I'm not well trained in it, so I. I'm not well trained in it, therefore I don't feel like I really know what I'm talking about. I just put it in my own little K-cup. Like so. And I have a Keurig, I don't have an espresso. Which I feel like is unheard of. I feel like everyone has an espresso. Put that in, I'm gonna froth some milk. I do eight ounces. I just push that button. I saw that you guys have been buying these. I put, I have these on my site if you guys want. And then I have all of my Frenchy ones. <laughs> when you gotta type. These are really cute from Amazon, but I like them more for tea because there's not enough room in them. This cup, I always go back to. It's, I think it's just from like home goods or something because it's massive. So eight ounces, start. The milk, I, did you hear my knees just pop there? This milk yesterday from Central Market, I really like it. That reminds me, I have to make another Ninja Creamy. Cause I had mine last night, but Matt did not have his and now he's gone. So we have one in the fridge. I think it's chocolate brownie. And I'm almost out of my vanilla protein powder. I need to get more, but I want to use it in the energy bites for my friend. It just makes him taste so good. I need to get more of that. I love that vanilla protein powder. I go through so much of it in my yogurt bowls, protein, coffee, all the above. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. Trader Joe's oat creamer. Smell to make sure, yeah, it's still good. Well, that was kind of a lot. Well, and then I have the pistachio one next. Actually, I'm not gonna put the CV in the milk today because I used a little bit more of the creamer that I normally do, and that's sweet, so I'm not gonna add any stevia, but otherwise, normally I do. I'm gonna start getting everything pulled out for the soup so I can prep all that. And then I have to figure out the best way to bring it to her. All right, I quickly showered, put on some clean clothes, washed my hands, put my hair up, and now we are going to get started on cooking. I'm gonna do the little energy bites first because then I'm gonna put them in the fridge so they can kind of chill and set. Um, it's super easy. I'm just gonna do like a cup and a half of oats, a cup-ish of nut butter. All of this is kind of like ish just to based on the texture that you like. For nut butters, I have this almond butter and cashew butter. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do like a mixture with just one or two. I might just do almond butter. I don't know, I was gonna do the oat house which I might still do. I don't know. I'm kind of running low on it. And these I have a lot on. Um, and then I'm gonna do a drizzle of maple syrup, probably like a fourth cup max. I don't want it to be too sweet. And then for protein, I'm gonna add in my vanilla. And then if I still want more protein butter, I'm gonna add a little bit of the cake batter one. I only have one more, one more of these left. I have to order more. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, I have a bunch of chocolate chips. I'm gonna do a mixture of Lily's milk chocolate, some Ghirardelli white, and then I also have some dark from Trader Joe's. So a little mixture of that. You could add like coconut flakes, hemp hearts, literally whatever you want to it. So it's very, 
It's a very forgiving recipe, which is why I like it. But just combine all that into a bowl, mix them up, roll them in the balls. I'm just gonna put them in this, pop them in the fridge, and there you go. Here's what we're looking like. I ended up using the oat house, but any nut butter works. Um, two scoops of protein powder, vanilla, Lily's milk chocolate, Ghirardelli white chocolate, and then I did maple syrup. And we're gonna combine, and then we'll add more protein powder if it's too watery, or we'll add more peanut butter if it's too dry. You just kinda like play with it. 13 balls, I'm gonna save this little one for myself to just, just to taste test once we're in the uh, fridge for a while, you know, for quality control. The batter was a little bit dry, so I just added water, like probably like a fourth cup, just so the oats were soaked. Um, kind of think of it as like an overnight oat. You don't want it to be like too crumbly. You want it to stick together and be moist. So you want to kind of rehydrate the oats a little bit. So I added a little bit of water, but mix it up until it becomes a ball. And then you can, I mixed it up until it was in a ball, like a dough form. One big ball. And then I kind of just broke it up from there into little ones. Yeah. I'm going to start the soup. I have my bone broth that I got. So I'm going to do four cups of bone broth, six cups of water. But if you don't have bone broth, you can just use six cup or ten cups of water total. And then we're gonna add some better than bouillon in it. Um, all the exact measurements, everything are on my Instagram and my TikTok, on my pinned videos. So just go there if you need, or just DM me and I can send it to you. I'm gonna just wash these really well and roughly chop them. Put them in the water, the broth to boil. And then when they're fork tender, I'm gonna take them out also with half an onion and garlic and I'm gonna blend them. So we'll I'll show you when I get there, but right now we're doing this, four cups and then six cups water. Voila, okay, for measurements guys, I just used a full box of this and then five cups water. So I think it was like five cups of broth, five cups of water. Then I did five whole carrots, rinsed them really well, peeled them, same with the celery, five stalks and then five cloves of garlic, one whole onions, and then just some thyme and rosemary. I tied them up so I can pick them out later easily. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then cover it and simmer for like 20-ish minutes just until the carrots are fork tender. I choose the carrots because they're the thickest, so they're gonna take the longest to cook. The others will be done quicker. Um, so just kind of go off the carrots. We're boiling, so I'm gonna drop this down to broil, or drop this down to simmer and cover it until I can pierce the thickest carrot with a fork. I also have the pastina going. I'm gonna drain this shortly. And then I'm also making some dates. Dates are also really great postpartum because they've been shown to help with hemorrhages postpartum, which is obviously what we do not want. Also adding sea salt to them for a little extra electrolytes. And I'm just using the granola butters again. Um, and then I'm topping them with granola and little mini chips. Um, I'm also going to do some salted nuts and so forth. So a lot of this stuff is healing for postpartum. Soup is easy to digest postpartum. You don't want to like stress out your GI tract too much with thick fibrous. I mean, fiber is still good, but I'm blending it all up. It's very soothing. It just feels nice. The glycine in the bone broth. There's a lot of collagen. It's just super healing and healthy. And then these are just great sources of quick digesting carbohydrates. And then again, the dates, like I was saying, help. And then electrolytes are really important, so salting foods and so forth. So that's kind of my thought process behind everything. But let's cover this and bring it down. I need to change my battery. Pastina's done. One of my tips, if you have pasta that's really tiny like this, that would go through, and you're trying to strain it, and you realize like it's gonna fall through the strainer, take a plate that has the same like circumference as your pot, put it on top and you can drain it that way. Ooh. Also, I get asked if you could just cook the pastina in the soup. You definitely could. Um, this is just how my Nana did it. And also I like it separate because then I kind of know like how much is in each serving. I like just being able to know like how much of the pasta I'm eating versus if it was just like all one big batch that I wouldn't know. So I like being able to do like my own serving of pastina and then add the soup on top. So when I plate this, I do a little bit of pesto on the bottom of the bowl, then a scoop of pastina, and then I ladle the soup over it, and the pesto like melts throughout the soup. It is so delicious. 
Okay, I'll, I where what did I last leave off with? It's hard to film on multiple platforms. Okay, so let me show you. Here are the dates and the energy bites. I melted some chocolate to dip some of the dates in, and I'm I did dark chocolate mixed with a little bit of coconut oil so that it would harden at when it gets cold. And I had a lot left over, a lot of chocolate left over because I did dunk these and then I just drizzled over the rest. I left some of them blank, but that's those. And then I had so much chocolate left over and I had just gotten these really beautiful organic strawberries from Costco. And I was like, okay, let's make some chocolate covered strawberries because these are some of my favorite desserts is literally like chocolate covered strawberries. And I feel like it's fresh and delish and the dark chocolate's great antioxidant and then it's just yummy, right? Fiber and delish. So I did dark chocolate and then I did some white chocolate. Then I had a lot of white chocolate leftovers and then I just drizzled all of them on there. So we have chocolate covered strawberries, energy bites, dates. Oh, and these that I stuffed with either cashew butter or almond butter, I put a little cashew and almond on them. Just these four. These were oat house. I just put nuts on them to add a little bit of crunch and then we had the granola. So we have options. Pastina is done. So that's just cooling. And this is just simmering. I need to check it to see if the carrots are fork tender and then we'll get to blending. I just tested the thickest carrot and it's easily take out all the veggies and put them directly into a blender. Remove the herbs. So once you remove the veggies, you're gonna also add like one to two ladles of liquid and about a tablespoon of bouillon. Okay, so you have all the veggies in here. You wanna make, it's okay if you get like a couple leaves like from the rosemary and stuff, but you definitely do not want any of these like really thick fibrous stems. You want the, all of these out. Did about two ladlefuls of the broth and then a little bit of chicken bouillon, probably like a, a teaspoon. So this is what it looks like when it's fully blended. If you still have like stringy pieces from the celery, you can get a mesh, like a mesh strainer. I'll show you. Like this and hold it over and then pour that over this to catch like all the little stringy pieces if you have them. Otherwise, this just helps ensure you don't have any of those little tiny celery pieces if you didn't blend it well enough. I also, like, I don't really see a lot of celery. Last time I made it, there was celery, but I think if you blend it long enough, like, it should be fine. Because I don't really see any. Yum, look at how, it's like so much thicker now. At this point, sorry. At this point, this is when you want to test it, taste your broth, and see if it's not salty enough, or if you want to add anything. If it's not salty, I'll add a little bit more of my Better Than Bouillon. You can add black pepper. We're gonna add the lemon juice and the chicken now. And then basically, guys, we're done. And our lemon. Yesterday, I got this at Costco and I shredded it. So I'm just gonna directly add it in. And then if you're gonna serve it immediately, put it back on the stove just to heat everything up through. But I'm just gonna continue to let it cool down because I'm gonna package it up and bring it over to her. And then I'll package the up on the side and there you go. When I serve it, I'll tell her to add the pesto. So that's also gonna add salt, so just kind of keep that in mind. If you're not gonna add the pesto, you can add more salt here. I added some fresh cracked black pepper. That's all to taste, um, but when you serve it, serve it with that pesto, then a little pastina, then ladle the soup, and then you can serve it with like fresh lemon wedges too. Oh my God, it's so good. Done cooking, I also just kind of cleaned up everything really quickly. It's 11 a.m. now, I'm meeting her at noon, and she's about 30 minutes away, so it's perfect timing. I'm already showered, ready. I'm gonna keep my pink on because we gotta meet little baby Sophia. She's a little baby girl. But I'm gonna let this continue to cool while I just get some work stuff done, and then I'll come back, package it up, and then we'll get going. Hey y'all, everything is ready to go. Pack it up, and then we'll be on our way. Hi guys, it is later in the day, it's like 3 p.m. now. I just dropped off, or I'm just leaving my friend's house. I got to meet her little baby, Sophia. She's so cute, so small. She's literally five days old. I held her for probably 30 minutes, and she just slept in my arms. Um, it was perfect, and she's perfect, and my friend's doing great. Dropped off all the food. Um, hung out there for about two hours, so now I am gonna head to a Pilates class because I do wanna work out today. 
um, because I did not get to this morning with cooking everything. I think I was cooking for like three hours straight, which was fun. But whenever I film, it just takes like a lot longer. It's totally fine, but didn't get to work out. So I'm gonna go work out and then I have to go home and save Indie Mamas because Matt is gone on the bachelor trip. So it's just her and I this next couple days, single momming it up. Oof, I'm tired. <laughs> but babies are so cute and small and oh, they're so cute. Just finished at Pilates. Guys, thank you for your input on the last vlog with these sunglasses. I think I do like them. Okay, looking back at it, I like them. One of my best friends texts me. She's like, I like the glasses, so I think we're good. Um, I got them at Mango. I linked them in the last video. I can link, link them again for you. Don't Pilates, I'm glad that I got to do that. Movement felt really good today. Now I'm on my way home. It's five o'clock and I need to just hang out with Indy. It's a beautiful day, so we're definitely going on a walk. It's 70 degrees and sunny. I'm just gonna take Indy out for, I don't know, like two hours. We'll sit, chill, just like hang out, but I need to get her out of the house because I feel bad she's been in the crate since for like five hours. It's tough when Matt's not here um, because she gets really bad separation anxiety. She like destroys the house if we leave her out of the crate. Um, so I like have to put it in the crate, but it's just tough when it's only when I'm a single parent for the weekend. <gasps> the J. Crew factory opened. Oh my God, okay, we need to go there. Back home with Indy. We're gonna go on a little walk. Oh, it is bright. You can tell the sun is setting. Is that even... <sighs> Is that better for you guys? Okay, but I got two packages. One of them I don't know what it is. Let's open it together, a little mystery. Protein puffs. Ooh, hello. Got some PR, yum! Okay, protein puffs. Nacho cheese and white cheddar. The brand is In Good Hands, protein puff, nacho cheese, 24 grams of protein per bag. Okay, we'll do a taste test of these later. This is like, if this could be like my new couch snack, that could be huge. And it's a resealable bag, I really like that. Okay, thank you to In Good Hands. Definitely am excited to try them. <gasps> oh, cool, okay, wow, this is iconic. <gasps> It's from this brand called Just Meats. Okay, this sun, I'm so sorry. From this brand, Just Meats. These are Texas Rub Chicken Thigh. Delish, what else? There's a lot. Hawaiian Teriyaki Beef. These are amazing. These would be great for meal prep. This is lean beef too. There's only four and a half grams of fat per five ounces. That's awesome, I don't know what the cut is. Wow, I'm really excited about that. Oh my God, yum, I'm excited to try that. Ooh, herb roasted chicken breast. Okay, these are what they look like. Is it fully cooked? These are all cooked. Y'all, you know I feel, that's why I love my Amy Lou. I am so excited to try this. This is perfect because literally Matt isn't here for the next couple days and I, just don't like cooking. Matt does the, the the meats normally. I I can do them, but like, he's just like good at it. You know, <laughs> he's better at it. I don't love touching raw meat, I'll be honest. It's not one of my top my favorite things to do. Put these away and then let's go on a walk with Indy. Just got back from our walk. It was great. We walked, let's look. Indy's drinking water. Total for the day. Not bad, I've been kind of crushing. I got 10,000, over 10,000 for the last four days. So I don't know if I'll get that today because I'm only at that, but I just try to get for aim for 8K every day. Anyway, I'm starving, so I just cut up this mango and then I'm gonna heat up some of the just meat. I don't know which one, I wonder if there's like a, I think there was a pineapple-y one. I'm gonna try this one, Hawaiian teriyaki beef. Okay, it comes with the sauce and like this, and it says 35 grams of protein, only 190 calories, 4.5 fat, three carb. Honestly, this is great for a beef. That's crazy, that's super lean. Um, the protein chick that is super helpful 
to figure out if something is high protein, you'll look at how much protein and then add a zero to that. So if this is 35 grams, so it would be 350, 350. And then compare that to the calories. You want the protein to be higher. And this is way higher. That's how you know something's a high protein item. Just a little quick tip that helps. Okay, I'm gonna heat this up. Look how good that looks. That I literally whipped that up in not kidding four minutes. I just did the Hawaiian teriyaki beef with some 90 second basmati rice, a mango, and some bell peppers. And then I just topped it with some green onion. And I just made dinner in literally five minutes. That was insane. Having my little after dinner snack. I have a whole Honeycrisp apple. These are huge. And then a cup of regular Fiegerd yogurt. And then also a mini cup of like the Oikos. I combined them. And then I added half of this Clean Simple Eats cake batter. My favorite one is vanilla. This one's still really good. They're all really good. And then I did a dollop of, or a serving of Oat House banana bread and a serving of Oat House cookies and cream. So that is when I'm having a ton of protein, some good healthy carbs, fiber. I'll take this to the couch. Turn on a good movie or something. It's only, what time is it? I don't even know. It's seven o'clock. So let's go get comfy on the couch. <laughs> Checking in, hello. <laughs> um, drama. <laughs> Is it hard? It must be so hard. Thank you for speaking up and speaking your truth. I, and this is, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's like 10.30, I'm about to go to bed. I cannot keep my eyes open on the couch, hence why I look like this. Um, and I still need to wash my face, which is like the worst because the last thing I want to do is put cold water on my face Even hot water or like warm water. I just don't want to get my face wet I typically like to wash my face before I get comfy on the couch because I know I'm gonna fall asleep on the couch Or like want to fall asleep on the couch and then I'm not gonna want to brush my teeth and Wash my face when I get in there. But anyway, okay, um I came on to say I'm going to end the vlog here. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch y'all in my next one. Bye guys.